What? What is it? I heard something. It was just a dream, honey. No, it wasn't a dream. I heard something in the house. I don't hear anything. Can you go check? Come on, honey, it was nothing. Come on, let's go check. Okay, let me grab a golf club. Check the top and bottom of the house? Absolutely. All clear? Everything. I'll be out in the moment. Okay. My officer checked the entire house, Miss Williams. He didn't find anything. Can you check for fingerprints or anything? Mr. Curtis, to be honest with you, there was a window open, but no one came in that way. There was no force entry. All evidence points to one of you simply leaving the back door open. No, I, I always check it before I go to bed. Then I don't know what to tell you. You said nothing was missing, right? No jewelry? Not that I know of. What about other valuables? Something that someone may know about and want to get a hold of? Well, we just got engaged, so people are sending us gifts from the registry. So unless they want silverware or an ice cream machine, there's really nothing of value. Look, it's late. I think the best thing to do is for you Wait to... a minute. This photo, it, it's always at the end of the mantle, not the middle. You have a cleaning lady? Yeah, she comes once a week, but she just dusts. She doesn't move anything. Like I was saying, I think the best thing to do is for you two to get some rest. Any other disturbances, call me. But I really don't think there's anything to worry about. She didn't believe us. She thinks that we overreacted. You wanna go back to bed? Well, it's almost light out, and we gotta be up in a few hours anyway. Brad? Yeah? Do you think someone was in our house? Honestly, I really have no idea. Come here. Hey, you tired? Yeah, I should have come back to bed for a couple hours. I want to blow it off. Tell her you got sick or something. Well, I can't, I promise. And I don't think she has a lot of friends. I doubt she does. Otherwise, why would she even invite you? 
Because she likes me? Well, like so many consultants my firm has in retainer, it doesn't mean I'm going to invite them to the wedding. That's different. This is her own company. What would you do if you had a migraine? I would call her and have to explain why I couldn't be there. Stop. I'm going. I just wish you were coming with me. Ash, look, we talked about this, okay? Until the merger goes through, I need to be available 24-7. Okay. But once it's over, I get you 24-7. I promise. Clarissa? Ashley, oh, Hi. thank God, wow. hey. Oh, hey. You look amazing. Ah, well, I feel like I should be hanging in a deli. Yeah, my body is just shoved into places it's not supposed to be. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm just, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, thanks. Now, if only I could just hide out in here with you for like the rest of the night. Why? <sighs> Well, um, because my mother, for some bizarre reason, keeps reminding me how perfect her wedding was, too. Okay, so... <laughs> so, she and my father have been divorced for, like, 20 years. And they can't bear the sight of each other. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and my mother-in-law, I mean, she actually said the phrase, marital bed to me. Oh, wow. In yeah. what context? Oh, there's no context in which you <laughs> ever want to hear your mother-in-law say that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, the wedding looks incredible. You did an amazing job planning all of this. Ashley, you're getting married soon, right? Well, engaged. Okay, well, then I have a little advice for you. Okay, no matter what anyone tells you, the most important thing, like the most, is finding the right wedding planner. Except for finding the right groom. I mean, I'd say they're equal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. I'm gonna head back up. I'll see you up there. Yeah, sounds good. Bye. Angel's trumpet. It's very beautiful and unique and deadly. Excuse me? Appearances can be deceiving. If ingested, it can cause hallucinations, paralysis, even death. Mm. But it is stunningly beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Florist? <laughs> I'm Mandy Rains. I'm the wedding planner. Ashley, nice to meet you. So this, all of this is all you? Yeah, well, I have a little bit of help, but yeah, the, the flowers, the decorations, the food. <laughs> Let's just say I steer them in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it turned out well. I'm actually engaged to you. That's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you know, if you really like my work, then maybe we should maybe we should discuss some options. Oh, I love what you do, but we could never afford all of this. They could never afford this. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, is that I do weddings for every budget. Here's my card. If you're serious and you want to talk about some options, give me a call. Oh, uh, can you just not tell Clarissa? I would hate for her to think that I was using her wedding to score new clients. Understood. I'd find you in here. Well, until the Centralia merger goes through, I thought it'd be best. Not best. Imperative. If I had a nickel for all the times that I spent alone in here on weekends when I started my company. You'd have a lot of nickels. Mm. Where's your partner in crime? Frank, he's uh, he's working from home, probably just uh um... recovery. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it's all right. I know Frank likes to have his fun. That's why the two of you, you make a good team. <laughs> and uh Brad, all the work you've done here won't be forgotten. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm hmm. And after the merger, I'm sure that inevitable bonus will come in handy for the wedding. What, what, how did you know about the wedding? My assistant, she doesn't just keep my calendar. She's a regular old internet sleuth. <laughs> she came across her wedding website. Huh. Uh, well, um, we really just started planning, but uh, I didn't really want to talk about it too much with all the work going on. Mm, nothing better than marriage. Ground's a man. A woman, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Brad, you stay focused here, you know. As for the plans and everything, leave that to the wife and the wedding planner. It's better for everybody. I will do. Thank you, Miss Johnson. Mm-hmm. Hey, how was it? Well, I stayed longer than I wanted to. Well, having a little too much fun. Uh, no. Generating some business? Actually, the opposite. Mm -hmm. I met Clarissa's wedding planner at the cocktail party. Oh, yeah? And she gave me her card. Because? Because I thought maybe we could meet with her and just see how much she costs, and she could handle a ton of stuff for us. <laughs> Honey, you know I love you, but you're not very good at this, <laughs> this wedding planning stuff. I don't have a lot of time and I could use the help. I guess we can. Uh, I can't hurt to talk to her and see what she has to say. Mm -hmm. And if it means there's less for me to do, I'm all for it. You're so romantic. I know. But I love you anyways. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bad. I'm gonna pass out soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming so early. It's my pleasure. Oh, I love your style. Thank you. Well, the house is Brad's, so I can't take credit for that. But as soon as I moved in, I redecorated. Anything black and neon went straight to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> and the man of the house, is he here now? No, he usually leaves early. I work from home, so my schedule's a little more flexible. And you're in marketing, right? A consultant? Yeah, I work with mid to smaller size companies, like Clarissa's. You don't need an office for that? I just do all of my administration and work out of my house. Oh. It's easier for them and better for me. I mean, you must understand that. Oh, you bet. <laughs> I do have a small office, if you can call it that. But I am on the road all the time. So I thought we could maybe talk in here, but I was brewing some coffee. Did you want some? Oh, that would be lovely. Thank you. Great. Light and sweet. Mandy? Mandy? <gasps> you okay? May I use your lady's room? Oh, yeah, of course. It's uh, first door on the right. Thank you. Okay. 
Sorry about that. I'm fine. And this one is a wedding that I did last year. It was a fully functioning horse ranch. <laughs> Ironically, though, the bride wanted nothing rustic about it. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I was really pleased with how it turned out. I mean, it helps that she had absolute faith in my ideas. Well, we are totally open to anything. The only thing we know for sure is the venue. Right, a family church? Mm-hmm. St. Paul's, it was my parents' one request, so we figured we could do it for them. I never realized Brad was so religious. I just mean that if he is, um, we can absolutely add more traditional aspects to no, it. No, he's not at all. <laughs> it's just, he knows if it makes me happy, then... You know, he sounds like quite the catch. Oh, he really, really is. <laughs> so, um, linens? Okay, so you have the list of everything that you need to discuss with Brad. Yes, I've got everything right here in the folder. Great. Oh, and don't worry about initial price points, because if you see something that you like, I will work with the vendor to bring that price down. <sighs> Mandy, thank you so much. I feel so relieved now. That's my job. All right, discuss everything with Brad, and you call me. Will do. Bye. Bye. What do you think? Sounds to me like you've already made up your mind. I wanted to wait to pull the trigger until I discussed it with you. Well, I mean, we both work so hard, right? We don't really splurge on much, so if you think it's a good idea, hire her. Thank you. Do you want to meet her? When it's convenient. Check her references. Well, I figure if she's good enough for Clarissa, who you know can be difficult, then she's good enough for me. Well, if you are happy, I am happy too. Oh, and she gets zero say in the bachelor party. <laughs> and dinner is served. Mm. Probably just a coincidence. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. No, no, I appreciate it. But they didn't say anything else of what kind of car it was or anything? Just a car, which means a sedan. And it was too dark outside for them to see a license plate. So it was probably just some kids out past their curfew. But the fact that your neighbors called out of concern about a strange car on your street after what happened at your house. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really glad you stopped by. Me too. So, wedding plans going smoothly? Yeah, we actually just hired a wedding planner, so I think that should free up some time. Smart. <laughs> just keep the mothers at bay and everything should work itself out. I take it you're married? Divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm not. <laughs> and remember, if anything else happens, I want you to call me. I will do. Thanks, detective. Congratulations in advance. I'm sure the two of you are going to be very happy together. Are you fishing for an invitation, detective? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Weddings bring out the crazies. I'm good. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Oh, oh. Sorry. <gasps> I, I just let myself in the back. It, is everything OK? Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Come on in. Good. <sighs> We actually had a break-in the other day, so the detective was just checking oh in. Oh, my God. Did they catch him? Well, we think we had a break-in. The cops couldn't find any evidence of it. Do you have cameras in the house? Uh, cameras? Security cameras, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, you should really consider that. I have them in my apartment. I feel so much safer. Mm. I mean, you just, you just never know. It can't hurt. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know that uh, you have limited time today, so let's get down to business. Great. Okay, so you have two appointments booked for next week for tastings. For Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Yep, I'll confirm those appointments, but um, this, these appointments are kind of something that you ought to do with Brad together. I mean, you don't want me telling you what food you like best. Mm -hmm. oh, what about the florist? Oh, don't worry about that. We've got tons of time. What I do need are photos of the church because often the space will dictate the style of arrangement. Mm. Oh, and we need to order the cake now. Well, I showed pictures to Brad and I think we're gonna go with the traditional three-tiered white fondant. Oh, nice. I think I have pictures of the cake somewhere around here. Don't worry about it. I got it. Three-tiered cake. I will confirm that with the bakery tomorrow. Oh, and I finally got my hands on those mini centerpieces. I really want to bring them over here early tomorrow morning because I have to head out of town for another wedding. Oh, I'm going to be on the road for the next couple of days. Can I just see them when I get back? I, I really need you to see them as soon as possible. Huh. Um... Oh, well, why don't I just give you a spare key? You can let yourself in, leave them on the kitchen table. I mean, that is if you don't mind. I certainly don't mind, as long as you're okay with that. I mean, I would be here without you. I'm trusting you with my wedding. I trust you with my life. Great. <laughs> I've just got to run out and meet Susan in a little bit. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, okay. Have a good day then. I'll be back around five, okay? Perfect.
coming in later. I was able to sneak away a little earlier than I thought. Wait a second. Where is he? I know he's here somewhere. Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Actually, he snuck out the upstairs bedroom window when we heard you coming in the driveway. I'm sure he did. <laughs> what are these? They hold mints and nuts and candies, and I was thinking of putting them in the middle of the tables. Do you like it? I don't care. What? Nothing. It's just the more I look at them, the more they don't look like the ones that I chose. They look fine to me. Oh, Mandy wants to meet with us together after she gets back over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, don't be so melodramatic. You literally haven't done anything. That is the entire point. Mm -hmm. Come on, I think it'd be good for you to meet her. I think you're going to like her. She kind of reminds me of me a little bit. <laughs> I doubt that. Yeah? Mm, I have a better idea. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay, I'm all for it. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Hey, baby. Hi. Wait, where are you going? For a run. Why? No, Mandy's gonna be here in an hour. I'll be right back. Can't you just go later? I'll make it a quick one, I promise. Fine. Bye. He was mine first. You need help. When your bouquet has a knife in it, you might have a... Hey, sorry about that. Hi, babe. You must be Brad. I am so happy to finally meet you. I have heard so much about you. I feel like I already know you. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go grab a quick shower. <laughs> Mandy, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what that was all about. Oh. He's just tired, I'm sure. Let's get back to these designs. <sighs> this is really good. Hey, you feeling better? Oh, Brad, here. Come sit next to me. We were just looking at the floral arrangements for the wedding altar. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, l looks like you guys have everything under control, so I'm just gonna get some work done. Honey, <laughs> Mandy wanted to meet with both of us. We've had this appointment set up for weeks. It's okay. You and I can handle it, and then you can fill him in later. Brad, it was so nice to finally meet you. I hope we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, what about... Are you okay? Oh, my God. I can't believe this is happening, but I think I'm getting a migraine. Oh, no. Um, is there anything that I can get for you? No, I don't take anything for it. I just, I just need to lie down in a quiet place. Okay. Of course. Um... I know how debilitating these can be. I have a friend who suffers from them. Um, just give me a call when you feel better. Mind letting yourself out the front door? No problem.
or like cottage cheese. It's always so runny. Hey there. How are you feeling? Better. Worst is over. And I'm just gonna have that dull headache for the next couple of days. Are you sure you don't want to see a doctor again? A lot of new medicines out there, they keep advertising them. No, I don't get them enough. Plus, the pills make me feel worse than the migraines. OK. Unfortunately for you, I don't feel bad enough to forget what happened this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't expect her to show up so early. Yeah, but you look like you saw a ghost. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. OK, come on, Brad. I'm not buying it. What happened? Nothing. What do you have to make a federal case over everything? God. OK. I mean, as long as you're not keeping something from me. I'm not, I swear. OK, well then, I'll get started on dinner. Forty-five Elmwood Place. Johnson. Your assistant told me you were on your way to lunch with Centralia Bank. Uh, yes, Miss Johnson. I just wanted to remind you not to say anything to him about Frank. But of course not. Um, if they should ask why he was transferred, um... Well, be vague. They won't push it. Remember, Brad, in a lot of ways, Centralia Bank is still an old-fashioned family business. Make sure we tread lightly. Don't want to do anything to spook them. Of course not. Brad, be vigilant. Our reputation is on the line. Have a nice lunch. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I, I rang the doorbell and no one answered. Um, I, I'm looking for uh, Mandy Rains. She doesn't live here anymore. Do you have any idea how I could reach her? No. No, I don't. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. I want that nut job out of my life for good. And who are you? I'm sorry. I, I'm Brad Curtis. You better have a seat. It is so weird having you here. Now, I, I feel like I know you already. Mandy talked about you constantly. That's not her real name, actually. Mandy, you know. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Nothing about this girl would surprise me at this point. So what else did she tell you about me? That you were her fiancé, you were getting married. How do you guys know each other? Are you friends, or...? <laughs> Hardly. I inherited this place from my grandmother. I figured I could get a house mate just to help me offset some of the costs. I put a flyer up at the local coffee shop. I figured that it's safer than online. At least I know the person was local. And that person was Mandy Rains. <laughs> You're not engaged, are you? 
Oh, I'm engaged, uh, just not to her. Amanda, or um, Mandy, as she calls herself, um, we dated for a while. Uh, not to come off like some arrogant guy, like I'm some great catch or anything, but um, I don't think she ever got over me. Yeah, that is an understatement. <laughs> I, she would talk about you constantly, like I said. I asked her why I never met you. She said you're a workaholic always at the office. I asked why you guys don't live together. She says that her mother is old-fashioned, that she wouldn't allow it. So how did you eventually um, figure out that she was lying? Well, I didn't. Not about you, anyway. She bounces a couple of checks. She tells me it's some mix-up at the office. They have her wrong address for direct deposit. Mm -hmm. Long story short, she doesn't even have a job. There's no office. All of her contacts, all of her references, lies. So what'd you do? Well, I confronted her, of course. She denies everything. And then eventually she just tells me that I'm making too big of a deal out of it. Then when I asked her to leave because I wasn't comfortable having her in my house anymore. She tells me if I tell anyone about this that she'll kill me. I, yeah, I know. I should have gone to the police, but the truth is I believed her. So keep this between us, okay? Tara, did you know Geico is now... Mm, smells good. Wow. Well, if I didn't know any better, this almost looks like you made it yourself. Ha ha ha. You forget, I can be quite the cook when the mood strikes. Well, let it strike more often because this looks amazing. <laughs> oh, tomorrow we have the cake tasting. Oh, what time? Four o'clock. Uh, I'm sorry, I have, a, I have a meeting that just came up. I, I can't make that. Brad, you knew about this. I'm sorry, what do you want me to do? I, I can't change it. Well, Mandy thinks it's really important for us to both be there. <laughs> you don't have to do everything Mandy tells you. What is that supposed to mean? Exactly that. Well, if we're not going to do what she says, why did we hire her in the first place? I don't know. You wanted to hire her. Look, I, I'm sorry. Let's just enjoy our dinner. You worked so hard. Let's not ruin it, huh? OK, now the fun part. You probably know the drill. <laughs> You're going to try. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma. Everything was delicious. It's gonna be a tough decision. Here, let me walk you out. I'll be back in a minute, then we can go over all the details. Just a second. <gasps> well, well, well. It's 
been a while, hasn't it, Bradley? What the hell do you think you're doing, Amanda? Huh? I was kind of hoping for a nicer greeting after all this time. Especially with the way that I had to find out. Find out what? Are you joking, Brad? About your upcoming wedding? I read about it online like everyone else. Were you ever, ever going to tell me? Why would I tell you? When we ended it, that was for good. That's not what you said. That's exactly what I said. Then it's not what you meant. So it's to Mandy now? Yeah, for now. You always hated that nickname. Yeah, well, feelings change. You should know that better than anyone, huh? Yeah. Well, were we married? It was arranged. <laughs> you would like that, wouldn't you? Hmm? And you could uh, feel better about yourself. Reigns, in case you've forgotten, which obviously you have, is my mother's maiden name. I figured it was fitting, you know, since I never got a thing from the men in my life. What do you want from me? Don't you know? I wanted to see you. I wanted to talk to you. I thought that... Did you hear the phone? Huh? <laughs> I doubt you would take my calls. I know I could have handled things a little bit better. You think? But you weren't exactly acting rational. Really? What did I do? Hmm? Love you? Take care of you? Show you that I would do anything for you? You told me you were pregnant. You lied to me to trick me into staying with you. Who the hell does that? At least I tried. I tried everything to make it work between us. I just thought a clean break would be better. That's so noble of you. Did you ever think that maybe you should ask me what I needed? I already told you, I could have handled things a little differently, okay? But now you got what you wanted. So just leave us alone. You know, I, I spent a lot of time thinking about why. Why you left me for her. I already told you I didn't leave you for her, okay? We were done. Anyone could see that except you. You know, and then I... I spent some time with her. And suddenly it all became very obvious. What she has that I don't. Not a thing. You listen to me. Oh. <laughs> you leave us the hell alone, okay? You come up with any excuse you need to to stay away from us. <laughs> That's right, Brad. You leave. It's what you do best. Right, she is screaming at me. <laughs> and then the cops show up. So I'm thinking they're gonna give me a ticket or a fine or whatever the hell they do in Italy. <laughs> but they just start moving the tables out of the way for us, <laughs> making all the people who are eating dinner get out of the way. <laughs> and then they send us on our way. <laughs> it wasn't until we got back to the hotel that we learned you aren't allowed to drive anywhere in the area. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked us to dinner, Ashley. We're crying away so much for work. We rarely get to go out with other couples. I have to admit, I have an ulterior motive. Oh? I feel like I owe you guys an apology. What on earth for? I met your wedding planner at your wedding. Oh, she's the best, isn't she? She really is, and, and I hired her. Ashley, why would you have to apologize for that? I don't know. I just didn't want you to think I was stealing wedding ideas from your wedding. Oh, don't be silly. I mean, I hardly have a monopoly on her. In fact, she was actually my mother's wedding planner, if you can believe that. Who was? Oh, Bella Schwartzberg, of course. And she might be old and a little mean, but she is the best wedding planner. <laughs> what? No, Mandy Rains is your wedding planner. Mandy Rains? Huh? 
I've never heard that name before in my life. But the, you're kidding, right? Oh. I, I guess I just, um, I guess I just got confused. <laughs> I am going to freaking kill well, Just her. calm down for a second. Let's just think about this. Think about what? Who is she, Brad? I'm calling her right now. She owes me a damn good explanation. Ash, put the phone down. Please. There's something I need to tell you. Uh, have a seat. You want me to get you something to drink? No, Brad. I don't want to drink. I want you to tell me what the hell is okay, going okay, on. Okay, okay. I know who she is, Ash. Who? Her name is Amanda Dixon. At least it was when I knew her. What? Okay, you have some serious explaining to do okay. because I don't understand just, just, what just I... Just stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. L let me just explain. Okay, I'll, let me get it all out, and you can ask me whatever you want. Amanda Dixon or uh, uh, Mandy Rains, whatever she calls herself, she was my fiancé. A long time ago, we got engaged senior year in college. We moved in together right away, and it was just... Uh, Almost immediately, I knew it was a big mistake. I thought she did, too. But then she... Then what? Come on, She Brad. told me she was pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what? What did you do, Brad? I, what was I going to do? I, I told her I would support her in whatever she decided. I... <laughs> and what did she decide? Nothing. She didn't decide anything. She wasn't pregnant. What? She made it all up. She tried to trick me into staying with her. She's out of her mind, I'm telling you. You, you, you gotta believe me. And, uh, How could you not tell me this? Because in a million years, I never thought it would matter. She was just someone from my past. I just wanted to forget about her. Then what happened to Mandy? Then she continued to try to get back together with me. She, she threatened me, she begged me, and then I... Then? I met you. And you just never heard from Mandy again? <laughs> not until I saw her sitting in our living room. <sighs> you have to believe me, I swear. I never meant to hurt you. I, I just, I never meant for you to even ever find out about her. We're getting married. I know. We told each other that we would never keep secrets from each other. You swore to me. We tell each other everything. That's we, what we do. We did. I mean, we do. I just, I didn't think it was relevant. change how sorry I am. What do you want me to say, Brad? What do you want me to say about any of this? I just don't want you to leave me. I'm not going to leave you. Not for something you did when you were young and stupid. But promise me that you will never lie to me again. I promise you, I swear. Come here. Doesn't exactly sound like harassment to me. This is the 15th message that she left. I know, but 
impersonating a wedding planner, while bizarre, is not a crime. If anything, it sounds like caveat emptor. Caveat emptor? Buyer beware, which is a matter for the Better Business Bureau, not the police. Okay, you don't understand. Understand what? This is Brad's ex-girlfriend. She has been obsessed with him for years. She's not gonna stop now. Stop what? What exactly do you think she might want? I think she wants him. Okay, I know how crazy that sounds, but please, can you just investigate her? Miss Williams, we need a reason to investigate, other than she might be crazy. Like what? Like proof she has a history of violence or unstable behavior, other than pretending to be a wedding planner. I need to talk to you. Yeah, sure, what's up? You've worked with Mandy before, right? Of course. Oh, man. Okay. She said she was just getting started. Said it was impossible to get a job without a track record, so she asked me to pretend we worked together before. Look, look, I, I know I was wrong, but I... She paid me to do it, and I badly needed the money, and I... I figured, well... <laughs> I figured no real harm could come of it. Wait, does something happen? She's not a wedding planner, Gemma. She's my fiance's crazy ex-girlfriend. <laughs> After you left the bakery, when I came back in, Mandy was here. <sighs> she, she destroyed a wedding cake, hacked it to bits with a knife. I'm sorry, I'm so, so, I'm sorry. She, It's me again. I assume you spoke with Brad. Please, call me. I can explain. Wow, she is really nuts. No, sh listen. Go ahead and ignore me, bitch. Just like your husband. You two deserve each other. I hope you both rot <sighs> in hell. Did you share this with Detective Jones? No, because they came after I left the office, and I didn't tell her about Gemma. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna matter. Seriously? <laughs> she didn't exactly threaten us. I mean, she told us to rot in hell, but that's not exactly a crime. Maybe now that she knows that I, um, I told her about you, she'll go back to wherever she came from. She's got nothing to hang over our heads. Stressball Scummies with Herbal Ashwagandha. Hi, Mom. Oh, Mom. Mom. Mom, slow down. I can't understand a word you're saying. What? What are you talking about? What email? I don't think I've ever emailed Minister O'Brien in my life. No, the last time I talked to her was when we told her how excited we were that we were getting married at St. Paul's. What? Okay, listen, send me the email. Yeah, I just got it. Look, uh, Mom, I gotta call you back. Yes, I will take care of it, okay? Bye. Oh my God. This is what you sent to Mr. O'Brien. Yep. Wow, this is awful. See, I told you. Oh, this is really, this is more graphic than I thought. This is why everybody is so upset. You changed your password yet? No, not yet. Seriously? Well, I just don't understand how she got my password in the first place. Well, you spent hours with her. She probably memorized it. I guess. See if you can guess this one, bitch. Red, are you really 
really telling me you had no idea why I wanted to see you? All I know is that everyone was staring at me when I came in. I thought I was imagining it. And then I was told you wanted to see me. <sighs> Where'd you get those? You had no idea. Those are private photos that we have on our personal computer at home. Brad, these photos, they were emailed to every employee in the company, including our business clients. Centralia? I am so sorry. I'm sorry too, Brad. I, you know, I got no choice but to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what, are you, what are you saying? Brad, I warned you. When we took Frank off this account, it was important to maintain appearances. Now, I never thought that I'd have to worry about this problem with you. We were hacked. Isn't that obvious? Yeah, and we will launch a full investigation. But until then, I, I had no choice but to suspend you without pay, I'm afraid. Suspend me? You know what? I'm gonna sue you. Oh, Brad, please. Now, look. <laughs> Clearly, this kind of behavior, it violates the moral clauses in your contract. I had a long conversation with legal. Suspension is generous. We're well within our rights to fire you. Wow. I guess I should be grateful then, huh? This isn't easy for me either, Brad. I had high hopes for you. Look, Brad, when you're ready, you go to your desk, you get your things, I'll escort you out. That's fine. I can show myself out. Thank you. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna find her, and I'm gonna freaking kill her. And I'm gonna sue Miss Johnson. I'm gonna sue her entire company. I'm gonna sue their asses off. Oh my God, I'm so humiliated right now. The whole company saw it. That's what she said, the whole company. Who cares about that? I just don't understand how she thinks she can get away with this. Okay, stop, stop. I need you to think. Okay, it makes sense that she sent the email to O'Brien because she had the passwords to my computer, but, but those pictures were on our hard drive. All right, you know what? I'm gonna call Detective Jones. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. What about the fact that I've lost my job and the two of us have been completely humiliated? I understand that, and I feel terrible for both of you. I really do. Then why can't you do anything, especially now? I mean, these aren't just harmless phone calls anymore. It rises to the level of criminal mischief, yes. But the problem is, is getting her to admit it. But we've got proof. You do not have proof. Not anything that would stand up to an even fairly first-year law student. What you have is one email from your own account that anyone could have written, and you have what sounds like a hacking episode. Yes, exactly. Miss Williams, there's no way to tie either of these things to Mandy Raines. I'm sorry. Come on in. This is our forensic expert, Jules Berwick. So, you finished already? Child's play, really, if you know what you're looking for. And? I found your problem. Virus? Mm, despite what you see on TV, most viruses don't do anything as to what you expect. But what it is, is a kind of program. Does anyone know what a keystroke logger is? <laughs> it's really exactly what it sounds like. It's a program that records or logs every key that someone types. So basically anytime we typed a password in or went to a website, it recorded what we were typing. Exactly. But that's just one aspect of the program. It also exploits a flaw in the operating system, which allows a user to manually access the information. And we wouldn't have any idea that it was on the computer. No way, unless you knew how to find it. These programs are designed to run secretly. Is it hard to install? All whoever did this would have needed was access to your computer. And then, depending on a few variables, the program could have been downloaded from a removable drive and installed in less than a minute. My God, that means someone has access to pretty much everything. I'm afraid so. You should change your passwords and your usernames, anything that could have been compromised. It's gone now, right? Completely clear. Like I said, if you know what you're doing, it's easy to find and remove. Is there any way to prove who did this, who installed the software? Do you have any idea how many of these programs exist? Tell us. Well, there's over a hundred legal ones that we could download now for less than 20 bucks. Any one of them could have accomplished this. So, uh, we're SOL is what you're telling me? No, not at all. At least now you're protected. But as far as finding out who did it, that's a lost cause. Well, you heard the man. There's your proof. Proof that it's on your computer. 
Not that Mandy Raines put it there. <laughs> so are you still saying there's nothing we can do? I can go have a chat with her, tell her what we've discovered. Mm. But she's not gonna admit to anything. No, probably not, but I have seen stranger things. You know, I can just go over there, give her a little scare, mm -hmm. let her know that the police are now involved. It's not just a harmless prank. What if she doesn't stop? What if she keeps trying to sabotage us? I really think that once I have a talk with her, that this will all be over with. But if there is another incident, I want you to give me a call right away. Oh my God, I made the team? Next Friday. You guys are finally gonna notice. Can I help you? You work for the building? Superintendent. Maintenance, sometimes shrink, and reluctant parent, too. I see. I'm looking for a woman who lived in the apartment back there. Names Mandy Raines or Amanda Dixon. There wouldn't be any reward involved with this information, would there? Just the knowledge that you're doing your civic duty. It could be more rewarding than that. <laughs> Ain't that always the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. She's not here anymore, though. She moved out? A few days ago. Really? She paid through the end of the month, didn't even ask for a partial refund, which lots of people do, even though Lisa's are not entitled to it. So I'm guessing she'd never mention where she was going. She wasn't the talkative type. All business. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. Okay, but I don't want to get in a fight or anything. After what I put you through, I think you're entitled to an unlimited amount of questions. If Mandy had been pregnant, would you have stayed? Of course. I always try to do the right thing, right? I hope so. When I told Jonathan what happened, he actually got excited. I mean, he practically begged me to come down there to meet people from the firm. Ash, this could be a good thing. A very good thing. I know. It's just the timing. Look, we're gonna get brand new locks, right? Speak of the devil. Miss Williams? Yes. Jake Schaefer, downtown lock and key? Right, right. Come on in. Oh, yeah, sorry, I would have been here sooner, but GPS on my phone crashed. I've just been driving around the neighborhood in circles. Oh, yeah, it gets confusing with all the new construction. I mean, even I forget where to go sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I miss those old road atlases we used to drive around with, but nowadays you're not connected 24-7, you're a dinosaur. Yeah, right. So you know what you're doing, right? Oh, yeah, I got the work order right here. Uh, new lock on the front door and one on the garage, is that right? That's right. All right, easy enough. Now, you know, if I were you... Oh, hey, uh, Brad, this is, um... Jake Schaefer, downtown Lock and Key. How are you? You know, I was just telling your wife. Uh, fiancé. Yeah, he's milking the single guy thing for as long as he can. <laughs> I was just telling Miss Williams, we'll get the lock changed for you, no problem. But if I were you, I would think about getting a security system. Now, we don't install them, so it's not as though I'm pushing more work. But my wife and I just got one last summer. Uh, we'll definitely consider it. Yeah, no, these new systems are great. They hook right up to the emergency services through the Internet. Affordable, easy to use. Great, uh, I have to go, honey. Okay. Oh, wait a second. <sighs> Oh, the front door. New lock? Thank you. Good luck. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna... You got this. You finished? Yeah. 
I got a new lock on the front door, one that leads to the garage. I got three sets of keys for you. One for you, one I already gave to your fiance, and a spare. You need another one? You gotta call us. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, how do I pay you? Cash? Credit? Oh, no, you gotta go through the billing department for that. I install locks. I don't take payment. Okay. Well, let me walk you out. Thank you for coming so quickly. I really appreciate it. It's our job, ma'am. <laughs> you remember what I told you about that security system? Mm -hmm. That's the best investment you'll ever make. Bye. When summer gives you more backyard time, DQ gives you the summer blizzard menu with more new flavors than ever, like new Oreo cheese. To do this. He was mine first. No matter what you think, no matter what he tells you, he was mine first. You need help. You need help. Tell me something, Ashley. When he gets on top of you and he stares deep into those big brown eyes of yours, how do you know he's not thinking about me? You're sick. You know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of losing my man to a whore like you.
spice. Ashley. Girlfriend to girlfriend, huh? I really, really hope that you don't want a family because because as soon as you tell him that you're pregnant, he's going to leave, honey. He's going to walk out the door. He always told me he wanted kids. <sighs> Guess he wasn't telling the truth. Because <laughs> that's just the kind of guy he is. I made the team! Next Friday. You guys are finally gonna notice. Is. No one has to get hurt, okay? Tell me where she is, and you can leave. Leave? Oh, you mean like you left me? Okay, just, just tell me where she is, please. Well, that's really sweet, Brad. I didn't know you could care about anybody but yourself. You really need help, you know that? Yes, Brad, I did need help. I needed help all those years ago. But you, you couldn't be bothered, could you? <laughs> minute it got tough, you walked right out the door. Just let me help you. Detective Jones. Already? Yeah, she said she was on her way before I could even hang up the phone. Come in. You two okay? We will be. Where is she? She's upstairs. Let's go. Stay here. Looks like you hired the wrong wedding planner. Come in. Have a seat.
a seat. Thank you. You haven't found her yet, have you? But we will. I promise you. Especially now that we have her prints and the other information that we've collected the last few weeks. Uh, so why are we here? You could have told us this over the phone. Because we found something out that I thought you might want to hear in person. When forensics was processing the scene, they found something in your bedroom. You two don't know what I'm talking about, do you? It was a hidden camera, and it was pointed at your bed. <sighs> oh, my God. That's how she had all that information. I thought that it was through the tracker program. The camera had a remote video feed, but no audio. She just wanted to watch what we were doing. This doesn't change anything, of course. I just, I figured you should know. Is there anything else that we can do now, Detective? Yeah. Go get married and forget about Mandy Raines. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. You may kiss the bride. weddings don't you more than life itself i mean aren't they the perfect couple mm -hmm. who said you on the uh, bride or the grooms i'd have to say the grooms he's amazing mm -hmm. you know him well intimately